Hi, good afternoon. Welcome back to Mike Makes It. I don't know if you get the same problem as I, but if you want to mark holes on material, can be tricky if you've got to go through a, a very wide or tall piece of material, like this, for instance, or piece of bar. Now, in the past, what I've done is sharpen a pencil, so I've got like a two-inch lead sticking out. Now, that's not always practical. You don't get a very accurate mark going on. So I've been looking on the, at the shops, down Amazon, etc. And i got a little uh, accumulation of markers now. Basically, it's a propelling pencil. Push the tip. The lead pops out, which is, you know, no biggie. But uh, it's 6mm diameter. You've got about 30mm length there. So it will reach through a long piece of material. So long as the hole's big enough. Now, these are greater than 6 mil, so you can do D, 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 and we've got a mark on the surface, which is fine. So that would work. There is something else called a transfer punch, which are these. Basically, it's like a center punch, but they call them transfer punches because exactly what we were trying to do is put the center through a long um, bar or block of metal. They come in multitude of sizes. I've got one mil all the way up to 13 mil in the set over here. Slightly off shot, but there you go. They're about 30 pounds, so they're not the cheapest. And it would appear if you want Imperial, they're a little bit more prevalent. You can get a lot more of those. But let's let's just try one of those. This size is about a 9mm hole, I think, in the block. So you want to pick one that's a good fit. It's no good having one that rocking around because you lose your accuracy. So we go for 9mm. Good fit. Hold the metal. Tap. And you got your mark. Which is just what we're looking for. There you go. I didn't hit it very hard because I'm going to come in with a, a proper center punch and knock that out so I can drill out if I drill that out if I wish. Just quickly going back to these. Pack of two, 12 pound with two packs of leads. So they're going to last a lifetime. And I've just been using this particular pen uh, pencil over Clarence House for three days in a row. I didn't lose it. Now with pencils, I've got a dozen pencils. Come the end of the day, I've lost them all. They fall out of my pocket. This is fairly heavy, so it not only will it clip on, but the actual weight of the pencil keeps it in your pocket. And here, you've got itty bitty pencil sharpener. So um, it'll sp spin the lead out here. Twiddle, you've got a nice sharp tip again. So that's those. What I also have is an Edin. 8850 indelible pen 1 mil tip 20 mil shaft so that would go down in an even smaller hole uh, this is this is fine 6 mil a lot a lot smaller so um, I'm not sure if we quite get through there yeah I think we can so there we go round you go and there's your circle so that's another marker and the last thing we've got, wonderful these are, best Christmas presents somebody could get. Again, I've used these, I've been putting some wood up in the client's house, uh, into masonry, so you've got to drill the old holes, um, mark through the wood, like this for instance, into the masonry, drill a hole, put a plug in, through goes a screw. But if you've got about six or seven holes in a single piece of wood to go on the wall, it starts getting a bit tricky. I used to drill a 3 mil hole, put a 3 mil um, masonry nail through and mark the wall that way. Some inaccuracies there and some mistakes were made. But basically, the, this this and that, there's two different sorts. They have a, a propellant in there that pushes a die out of the nozzle here when you press the tip in. Uh, and the black one, it'll do 100 mil depth. It'll go through this length of wood and more and still mark the wall or whatever substrate you, you're trying to um, put a mark onto and drill into. 
the green one is 0 to 50 this one's 50 to 100 about four pound each but fantastic i can't rate them enough i i thought yeah no no not so good god look it saved me hours literally hours we'll give it a quick test on the metal here just so you get an idea of what i'm talking about then we'll take it over to a masonry wall and do a similar sort of thing um, a little bit of marking the idea give them a bit of a shake move it round to the unlock position here you twist it when you put them in your pocket there's a bar sticks up so you can't accidentally press that's the position we want it in this is just under 50 mil i've drilled a hole already so single push i'm not sure how well that worked we moved the, the metal but there you go not so good for metal marking in the sense of if i'm working um in the metal shop and i want to join bits of metal together i won't have the accuracy if i'm drilling holes in masonry this is spot on absolutely great so um let's try this is just under 100 mil so we go into the the long range one same thing here you just move it to the unlatched position and push bang done and have we got a mark yes we have there you go i've got one more test for you in fact i've already used that hole but let's go one more time through there i've cut the wood so we can see what sort of uh, penetration it's got clearly it's greater than the length of the wood but just to uh, have a look what it's like there you go basically you're firing some um, marking die through a hole so it's got nowhere to go apart from the hole at the bottom so all the way through with that one yeah anyhow i'll get this over onto uh, a, a brick wall and you can see what it looks like over there right bit of brick wall in the workshop just under 50 mil wood zero to 50 mil marker we give it a bit of a shake two holes here hold the wood still and there you go very nice bright and green now we go the other way which is just under 100 mil through here this way we go for the long range one there you go again if the hole isn't very clear you can see there there's um, some wood fibers so that will prevent the ink coming through or the propellant so make sure the holes are clear you get the mark now one last demo on a piece of wood this is even bigger this is 100 mil so Get that on the wall, get it in shot, get it in a different position. Long range one again. There you go. It's pretty much at its limit, but look at the lump, lump of wood you got. So with that, squirts all the way through. So these are fantastic, really are. Let's get them in shot. I'll put links in the description as I will with all the markers. But these, these are the best thing I've bought lately. Marksman, professional marking tool. So if you're putting timbers up on a masonry wall or other walls of some description, you won't go far wrong with having them. I, I was a bit doubtful, but no, I'm going to carry these around with me all the time. Certainly when I'm working. Anyhow, I hope you found it useful, the, the little video here with the marking tools. If you have, please give a thumbs up and um, I'll be happy to receive your comments. Thanks for watching.